Good evening and welcome to this week's Midweek Manor. We're glad you could join us. We apologize we weren't able to get this video done and uh, posted uh, on YouTube and on Facebook uh, in time for yesterday morning. And then again, we couldn't get it posted on time for this morning uh, so that you can have a, a start to your Thursday or your Wednesday. But uh, thank the Lord we're able to get one posted uh, this evening. So uh, we praise God for you. Thank you for your continued support and your continued prayers for Midweek Manor and, and this ministry. We, we truly thank God for you. All right, so uh, Tuesday has now come and gone. Tuesday was the midterm elections. The, the elections are finished. No more, no more negative ads, no more mudslinging, no more debates, no more commercials, no more signs all over the place, and no more <laughs> annoying text messages. Yes, no, no more of those. Um, so the election is passed. There were obviously some winners and there was obviously some losers. Losers, Whatever your political party is, uh, this isn't a political post because um, the election has now come to a close. But there's a different election that all of us have to really be worried about. And that's the election of whether or not you have chosen Jesus as Lord and Savior over your life or whether you elect to reject. And, uh, you know, that means that, you know, for anyone that uh, does not accept Jesus as Lord and, and, and personal savior of their life, they, they are doomed. They're doomed to hell. And, you know, our job is to, as soldiers and as disciples and as, as uh, laymen and women, as workers in the vineyard, our job should be to make sure that we don't just go out there and support our candidate or our party but we support the most important party, and that's being in the Christian party. That is that is the the the, the charge that we have, um, and the, and the charge that we have is to help our brothers and sisters, help those that um, may not even know the Lord come to faith in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's a that's a very important election, and here's why: because Christ said that the the laborers are are very few. But the harvest is plentiful. Now, now think about that. We can we can get going so so. Oh man, how can I put it? We can get so aggressive when it comes to what we believe in in our political parties and our political stances that we might forget that we're Christians. And shame, shame, shame. You can't forget about that because this election, my brothers and sisters, is so important that God has grafted us in to the body of Christ through the death, burial, and resurrection of his son. So yes, while we're here and while we're citizens and we all have the opportunity to go out and cast our vote because there are so many men and women that, that fought for our right to vote, everything that you can think of that mankind has fought for, Jesus died for. That's why the election to be a Christian is so costly. It's so important. It's because we were bought with a price. And Jesus didn't ask us to go out and put signs in our yards. And he didn't ask us to do all that. But he told us to, to live in a way that we, that, that we would present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, 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 and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. It's the least that we should do. And so while the election is over, the election continues for us because we have to be the ambassadors that go out and spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So uh, this Sunday, I hope to get a, a sermon posted and it uh, the title of it is Living Life Cross-Eyed. So I hope to have that for you Sunday evening and I, and I think it'll, it'll help us understand that yes, we may be in political turmoil, but man, the election that we have is for us to be unified as Christians, regardless of what political party or, or regardless of what denomination that we're affiliated with. That That's not important to God. Those things are important to us. But if we live our life cross-eyed and, and if we remember that we are in a different election and see things through the eyes of God, man, we could move mountains for, for our country, our community, our society, our races. Gosh, we could we could actually... Be the church that God has called us to be. Midweek manna. Thanks for joining us.